Grade 3 math number 82, equivalent fractions. Now we've spoken about equivalent fractions in the past, so we're going to go over it again, okay? But this time the whole video is going to be about equivalent fractions, not just a little portion of it. This box is split in half right here. And this box, which is basically the same side, is split into fourths. See that? This half up here is just as big as two-fourths. See? One-half is equal to two-fourths, and they're equivalent fractions. They equal the same. Let's look at these. This one's split into thirds. This one's split into sixths, okay? You can kind of see how these lines line up. Two-sixths is the same thing as one-third. One-third is equal to two-sixths. They are equivalent fractions. If this was a candy bar and this was a candy bar, and I said I was going to give you a third of this one and two-sixths of this one, then I was giving you the same amount. I was being fair. Okay? Two-thirds, these two, are equal to four six. One, two, three, four. See? This amount here is the same as these down here, these four six. Two thirds is equivalent to four six. Alright? Now we're going to get a little bigger here. Let's see if I can get it all in the picture. We have a half and a half, okay? Split down the middle. This one is the same size, but it's split into fourths. This one's the same size, but split into eighths. So, you can see where the half mark is, see? One-fourth, this little piece here, is equal to two-eighths. See that? One-half is equal to two-fourths. This half is equal to this two-fourths. Isn't that cool how that does it? A half is equal to four-eighths. This half is equal to these four-eighths. Three-fourths is equal to six-eighths. Three-fourths, one, two, three of these is equal to right here to this six-eighths. Two-halves is equal to four-fourths. It's the whole thing and the whole thing. And two-halves are equal to eight-eighths. These two halves are equal to all of these eighths. It's the whole thing. See? When the numerator and the denominator are the same, it means it equals one whole. Four-eighths, I mean uh, four-fourths, all of these fours, fourths, are equal to eight-eighths. All of these eighths, it equals one. All right? So let's look at a number line now. Here we have a number line, and it goes from zero to one, and it keeps on going that way. But I've broken it into a third, two-thirds, and three-thirds, which is one. And on the bottom, I've got one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, and six six, which is one. There are two six inside of each third. See that? Two six is equal to one third. Four six is equal to two thirds. See? So now I want you to get a piece of paper and we're going to have some fun. All right? Just get a piece of school paper and I want you to fold it in half. Okay? Just fold it in half like that. And then you'll have half on one side and half on the other. Okay? So if you take this piece of paper, fold it in half, okay, and we fold it again. Now when you open it up, let's see if I can do this with one hand, we've got fourths. This is half. These are fourths. See? These two fourths right here on this side are equal to a half. See how that, how that works? So two-fourths are equal to 
one half. Yeah, you can do that yourself. Two fourths and one half is the same thing. Try to do that on your own. Get a piece of paper. See if you can find out that four eighths is equal to a half. Pardon my focus there. So those are equivalent fractions. They're fractions that have different denominators and different numerators, but they're equal to each other. If my videos are helpful and you like them, please share them with other people. I'll see you next video.